and welcome back to another enthralling day of backyard barbecuing. Now, before we kick off proceedings, as always, the grill report. Chris, what are we looking at today, mate? Get it tight. <clears throat> Nick, I'm betting there's gonna be a little bit in here for the red meat, poultry, maybe even at a stretch, the crustaceans. But for me, I'm backing there's gonna be a hot, fast track. Perfect for the overconfident chef. So, it'll be sausages. A classic, but safe option. Yeah, and Chris, the calculation's pretty simple for the chef, I'd say. Cook the sausages to the guest's liking, and he's a barbecue baron. But stuff it up, and he's relegated to salads. Now, you can see how much this means to him. Oh, look at the emotion on his face. Chris, by anyone's standards, this is an onion-cutting performance. If I can just interrupt you here. Now, we knew nerves were gonna be a problem. Obviously, not his backyard, brand new barbecue. Yes. Little bit of cloud overhead. But as you'll see, beer on the barbecue, that's telling. Controversial stuff indeed, wasn't it, Chris? Now, um, I think you love to see it out of your local chef, but I've got to admit that, um, I don't know what beer they're using, but it's, it's strong, don't you think? Strong. I think they call it Bogan seasoning. An old family recipe, I think only time will tell. Ponting had the kahuna, the Chapel Brothers, the Grey Nickel scoop. Nick, is today we witness the birth of another legend. Chris, I think I'm prepared to say that we're on the cusp of greatness here. Incisive. Chris, there's real intent in that. Agreed, it's an excellent start. Now, we're looking at a mixture of supermarket snags and your boutique bangers. Now, it's possibly a little bit more difficult than we first thought. And we're off. I, for one, will be interested to see what these first few minutes throw up. Chris, what can we expect from this young-ish man? In one word, innovation. Now, will sensible society, will the traditionalists, will they like it? Probably not, but I'll tell you one thing for free. Mm. Backyards all around Australia at the moment, kids are practicing that move. Oh, they certainly are. Now, Chris, there seems to be an issue out in the middle. Yeah, I can't make it out. No, but I, I think we're going to have to take a listen with Grill Mike. The gas is on. I don't know what's... Come on, man. For sake. Looking at the vision, you can see the first burner lights up. First time every time. Yeah, the second one as well. Nothing unusual so far. Now, the vision is obstructed for the third. We'll have to rock and roll through Snicko. If we can just bring that up. Yeah, it's not showing anything. We could be onto something here. Final one, hot spot. Nothing. And we have a decision. Chef's a pork chop. Of course, he forgot to turn the third burner on. Happens to us all. Chris, what are we looking at here? Nick, I want to talk about his stance for a moment because it's an unusual one. Now, front foot dominant, very front foot dominant. Feet widely spread apart. And if we roll the vision here, you'll see the occasional flare out of the knees. It's, uh, it's certainly unorthodox, Chris. Uh, shades of George Bailey about it, actually. Now, when I talk about the flaring of the knees, you can see here little pockets of air will be coming up, slightly ventilating the young man. But this is high pressure stuff. This is not his backyard. Brand new Barbie, bit of cloud overhead. You can understand he's trying to do his best. Yeah, that's right, Chris. And what's also not helping his case is actually over at the wheelbarrow end. Yeah, would you look at that? Now, it's not Steve Smith level of nervous twitching, but no. you can tell there's, there's some energy out there. Yeah, there is, Chris. And I'll be honest, I think the concern here is split skins. Mm. In your expert opinion, would you consider that plate to be too hot? For your typical Aussie banger, not really. You okay. can kind of indulge your flat track bully there. Sure. Now, of course, when you're talking about your boutique stuff, mm. completely different story. Right. I mean, they are the newborns of the sausage family. Oh dear, Chris, he's gone and done it. A rare misstep in what's otherwise been an outstanding performance, wouldn't you say? And does. It looks like it's going to be dry sausage season today, unfortunately. Maybe he could douse some in beer. Yuck. 